All right, the first thing we're going to do is talk about this meter and what it's reading. So as you see, a, this is a digital power meter and it will read solar heat in the form of solar rays in BTUs per hour per square foot. So keep that in mind. It's reading basically in one square foot of glass, which would be 12 inches by 12 inches, how much of how many BTUs is coming through. So as you can see there, it is reading or it is registering 300 BTUs per hour per square foot. How much would that change if I put it in this area right here, the area that we added the solar reflective window film? Remember, this is the same glass. All we're doing is bringing it over here. Look at that. It's in the 90s. So it basically cut the amount of heat that's coming through by more than 66%. So about two thirds of the heat coming through there versus that, where you have about 311 right now, 315, 318, 320. And then when we bring it over this way, about a hundred. So isn't that amazing? Now, window film does not cost a lot of money, but it's fairly inexpensive. We spent, just under $250 for a whole house to do roughly 10 windows. And we did it ourselves. So if you're a DIY person and you're looking to do this, it's something you might want to look into. Again, take a look one more time, over 300, and then down to just about 100. And that white dot there is what reads the solar the incident solar energy so it's reading only solar energy in BTUs and what is a BTU by the way so one BTU is equivalent to the heat of a kitchen match so while this is reading BTUs per hour per square foot think about 300 307 kitchen matches lit up about that amount of heat for every square foot of glass in your home through that window. So imagine a window that has 10 square feet of glass. You multiply that by 10, that's 3000 BTUs for every hour that the sun is hitting that glass. If you put that into perspective and start adding all your windows, you can see where this can affect the cooling load of your air conditioner, which is designed to remove the heat that's coming into the house in BTUs. We'll get into the BTUs and air conditioning calculation from our computer, but we wanted to show you this. So now that we are at our computer, we're going to illustrate it so that you can understand what's actually happening to a home that has clear glass, even double pane glass that is clear. It's actually double pane glass is designed to make houses warmer during the winter time. But we're talking about now areas that are driven primarily by summer climate being warm and hot most of the year, if not a good, good portion of the year. So to understand the BTUs, which, as you know, a BTU is a British thermal unit, which is a form of reading heat. And one BTU, as we've mentioned it before, is equivalent to one kitchen match, the heat generated by one kitchen match. So the meter that we showed previously will read BTUs of heat per hour per square foot of glass, 12 by 12 would be one square foot of glass. So an air conditioner is designed to remove BTUs. And the way that that's measured in the industry is one ton of air 
will remove 12,000 BTUs of heat per hour. So you got heat entering your home, not only by windows, but by walls, ceilings. It's coming from all over the place. You even have heat that's being generated inside the home, such as refrigerators. They're going to generate heat. Dishwashers, washer and dryer. Uh, humans are generating heat. Light bulbs are generating heat. Computers, everything is generating heat. So your air conditioner is designed to remove this heat that's being created inside your home. So keeping this in mind where 12,000 BTUs of heat per hour is removed per ton of air, a two-ton air conditioner will remove 24,000 BTUs of heat per hour. So keep that in mind. We're going to illustrate this by taking a window and let's just say for illustration purposes that that this window measures four feet by five feet okay four by five window that being said a four by five window 20 square feet of glass on that window and let's just say that you have two of the same window on the east side of the house on an eastern wall and then you also have two of this same type window on a western wall so going back to the meter where we showed you outdoors with our sample of glass with the clear glass measuring right around 300 BTUs per hour per square foot if we multiplied it times 20 that's how many square feet on one of these windows that's 6,000 BTUs of heat per hour generated that's coming in through this window on the east side between the two windows Remember, we have two windows on the east. That's 12,000 BTUs per hour on the east side, let's say from 7 in the morning to 11 in the morning before the sun is above your house where it's no longer hitting that window. And then on the west wall, you have the same, those same two windows. It's going to bring in 12,000 BTUs per hour for from about 2 to 8 p.m. One ton of air conditioning is therefore needed to remove the heat entering via your windows during the four hours in the morning and the six hours in the afternoon. Folks, that's 10 hours of a day where your air conditioner is just dedicating one ton of air, 12,000 BTUs, to remove that heat that's coming in through those windows. If you have a two ton unit, think about that. Half of it's work is just removing the heat from those four windows two in the east two in the west so if you remember from our illustration outside when we put the film the meter on the film it dropped it to about a hundred btus per hour so a four by five window which is the same 20 square feet of glass two on the east two on the west but now we dropped it down to 100 BTUs per hour per square foot of glass times 20 square feet. That's 2,000 BTUs per hour per window. On the east, that would be 4,000 BTUs per hour from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. on the same two windows. And on the west, also another 4,000 BTUs per hour from 2 to 8 p.m. on the same two windows on the west. Folks, that's only one-third of a ton of air conditioning is now needed to remove heat via the windows during the four hours in the morning and the six hours in the afternoon. Again, we're not changing the sun. We're not getting rid of the sun. It's still there. That's the same 10 hours daily. Now the load on your cooling system is therefore cut by two-thirds. Amazing, but true. So speaking on window films, what are the benefits since we showed you with the meter what it can do it's going to lower your HVAC runtime that means less times that the thermostat in your home is going to click and it's going to cycle the air to come on and it's going to cycle it to come off that means when it comes off if you often see that your air conditioning unit is coming on like in very short increments after it had just turned off a little while ago that's because of this too much heat coming through so think about that less thermostat cycles your house will stay cooler longer 
before the air has to kick on again. You know what that does? It's going to increase your HVAC equipment life. That's another benefit. So now your air conditioning unit that your installer told you will last you 10 years, maybe now it can last you 15 years. What does that mean? That means in, thir in a 30-year mortgage, let's say you have your house for 30 years, instead of having to replace the air conditioning equipment every 10 years, now you can go every 15 years, you're going to replace the unit twice in those 30 years versus three times in those 30 years doesn't seem like a lot of money but imagine this if the unit costs you about ten thousand dollars to replace that's a ten thousand dollar savings just like that another thing too is it's going to lower your electric bill we'll show you that in a little bit but that's another benefit your air your air conditioning is going to run less therefore it's going to cost you less to run that means it's going to lower your electric bill and another benefit is it's going to increase the occupant or the occupant's comfort in the home. You're going to feel more comfortable being closer to that window than when it had no window film. And it usually pays for itself in one summer season. Let's say you're in, a, in an area that's driven by a lot of cooling, like many in Florida. That's where we're at right now. So let's say the seven months where... Most folks in Florida are running their air conditioning, let's say from April all the way to October. If it could shed three hours off of your daily HVAC use, and let's say your AC system costs you 50 cents an hour to run, okay? So 50 cents times three hours that it's going to cut off of your run time out of the 24 hours. That's $1.50 a day times 30 days. That's a savings of $45 a month. If you multiply that times 7, that's $315 that the window film will save you just by putting window film on the windows on your east and on the west using the illustration that we just showed you a few minutes ago. So what does the film cost? For the four windows that we mentioned previously, it'll cost you under 150 bucks with a DIY kit. And this is the kit that you would need. What you see the gentleman here holding, a squeegee, blade, a solution, everything that you need to get the work done by yourself. So if you are a DIY person, if you have done DIY work in your home, replace the ceiling fan, whatever. You can do this. It's not difficult. It, it, it doesn't require a lot of skill except for a little bit of patience and a little, a little bit of precision when you're using a blade. But you can do this. It'll save you, like we mentioned before, $315 a year. Think about that for a minute. In 20 years, what you would save on your electric bill, six thousand three hundred dollars. It doesn't seem a lot when you say three fifteen, but when you start multiplying the years, it can really, really, really add up. As a matter of fact, let's say, would you take this deal? Give me one hundred fifty dollars. You're going to give me one hundred fifty dollars, and I'm going to give you three hundred fifteen dollars back every single year. Start multiplying that times 20 years, 30 years, whatever it is. So, in, in, like we say, it's a no-brainer. So, hopefully this information was helpful to you. I will post the links in the description where you can get the window film, where you can get the DIY kit. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, subscribe to our channel and have a great day.